Hello, students. How are you all? I welcome you back again to our topic in question punctuations. The last time we met, we were looking at some of the uses of punctuation marks. We were able to look at the full stop and that of the question mark. Here we are today, we are continuing with the uses of punctuation marks. The first one that you're about to look at at the moment is comma. What then is a comma? It is used to separate a list of names or items. What this means is that we use the comma to separate the items on a list or names. Let's look at some of the examples below. In the first instance, we have the sponge, soap, brush, and comb are in the basket. You see all the items listed in the sentence. Each of them is separated by a comma. And the last one we use and to show that the items are about to end or ending. So you see the sponge, there's a comma, soap, a comma, brush and comb are in the basket. In the second sentence, I have a pen, eraser, and one school bag. Each of these items are separated by a comma. I hope it is clear. It is also used to separate introductory clauses or phrases from the rest of a sentence. What this means is that in a sentence, you may have a clause introducing the sentence or a phrase introducing the sentence, and we use a comma to separate it. If the explanation given is clear, let's look at the sentence to make the meaning more understandable. The first one, we have after the school match. After the school match, there's a comma, I went home. So I went home gives you a clear meaning of the whole sentence. So I say after the school match, it's a phrase. After the school match, it's a phrase. And after the phrase, there's a comma, then the rest we put or continue with the sentence, I went home. And the second one too, as soon as we arrived, the match started. As soon as we arrived, the match started. So as soon as we arrived, it's a clause because there is a finite verb. And after the finite verb, a comma is put. That is the introductory aspect of the sentence, which is part of the sentence. So we see that a comma is used to separate an introductory clauses or phrases from the rest of, a, of the sentence or of a sentence, as you can see in the case of the examples given. I hope it is clear. Now let's look at the, another one. It is also used in writing dates. As a comma in question, it's not only used in separating lists of names or items. Rather, it's also used in writing dates. Now let's look at some of the examples. The event will be held on 1st July 2008. So after the 1st July, a comma is placed. Then the 2008 also follows. The second one too, Kwame will come to Ghana on 2nd May. A comma is placed. Then 2009 is also following. All but it's clear. Now, if there is no question, we will pause here and have a short exercise on the Ziba Learning Zone. Until then, goodbye.